Good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. I'm Paul Clark and welcome to my studio. Now, what have I got for you lovely people today? Well, we're going to have a go at another line and wash, but this time something slightly different. We're going to be using an ordinary black ballpoint pen. But this tutorial will also work equally well if you just want to do a conventional watercolour. So we're off to the sunny Caribbean island of Jamaica. And we're going to have a go at painting this lovely little shanty town. So come and join me and we'll paint this step by step together. But before we do, I've got a hilarious Caribbean joke for you. No, Paul, it's not funny and everybody's heard it. I'll tell you later. Okay, so for today's materials, my paper is some Saunders Waterford. It's a rough texture, 100% cotton, 140 pound. It's on a block, so it won't need stretching, but any decent watercolor paper will do. And three brushes from my range, a three quarter inch flat, number 12 and number six round. And I'm also going to be using a mechanical pencil with a standard 2B lead and an ordinary black Bic ballpoint pen. So I've always loved these colourful shanty shops made from old pallets and bits of old wood. So I did a quick sketch based on lots of different references and then a more detailed drawing on my watercolour paper. But what I do like is the looseness of the pencil line in the sketch. So I'm going to go over the drawing with a very sketchy pencil line to get a nice relaxed feeling to the drawing. Even including adding some shading. Now I've sped up this section by four times as it took nearly 20 minutes to complete. Off we go! And as usual, wetting the sky with clean water and then dropping in straight away, wet in wet, with my flat brush. Now I've used lots of bright colours in this demo, far too many to mention them all, but I'll list most of them below. Now if you're having a go at this painting, it's a good chance to have a bit of fun and experiment and use the colours that you have. Now I do like to mix my greens as much as possible and here I'm using my usual mix of cobalt blue and cadmium yellow. And of course always using lots of water to allow the paint to mix and blend directly on the paper. And now I've switched to my number 12 brush.
now for the road here, or possibly it's a beach and a good milky mix of yellow ochre, dropping in some warm tones with some burnt sienna. And I've decided that this is going to be another vignette style painting, so I'm not going up to the edge, leaving white paper around all sides. Dropping in some burnt sienna into a Payton's Grey wash is a good way of creating a rusty corrugated iron effect. And as you can see, I'm not using too thick a consistency of paint as I want a lot of the pencil work to show through the transparent washes. So these little huts are made up of all different sorts of bits of boards and hoardings, so please just paint them any colour you want. So for these palms I'm going to give them a sort of bluish tint just to send them a little bit back into the distance.
nice bright colours now and for these distant hills why not some purple just trying to make the whole scene fun and vibrant Now I'm going quite dark for the inside of the shop fronts here just to get a nice bit of contrast. So now that we have a nice pinky sky, let's put in a good strong purple shadow. And of course splattering in some stone textures but only in the foreground here and dab out any that you think might be too strong Little more splatting texture here in the trees. Okay, so now we need to let this totally dry and it's a perfect time for a short break and a can of Jamaica's own red stripe. And did you know that you can't say beer can without it sounding like bacon in Jamaican? Mm. Now for some detail and I'm switching to my number six brush and starting with the Jamaican flag here and then on to the people. Okay so here is Caddy and she looks a bit aloof but she's selecting the best okra for tonight's dinner date with George. Now I think this is her singing this song. Let's go to Need all my challenges to search for my strength. I defeat them all. I'm never 
So now let's just finish off the Jamaican flag and a few final dark shadow details. Okay, so now for that joke that I wanted to tell you. No, Paul, don't do it. Okay, so now the painting stage is finished, I really want to give this piece a pen and wash feel. So I'm coming back in with an ordinary black Bic ballpoint pen. And I want to get a really nice, loose, scratchy feel with lots of fine hatching lines. And a ballpoint pen is perfect for this. Just take the pressure on and the pressure off to get softer and darker lines. It's great fun and adds just a nice little artistic nuance.
Now I think we could splash in a little brighter green here. beef up the red just a little bit. Mix media time and some lovely gooey yellow gouache for some highlights. I'm not trying to spell anything here, just the suggestion of some letters. Now with some white gouache. Just know you all guess what I'm going to put in here. Now it doesn't matter where you go in the world, you're always going to see one of these signs. It's probably the most recognizable logo in the world. A few little loose stones here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did and you'll give it a go. Just make it your own, use whatever colours you want and of course, as always, have fun with it. So, as always, please don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already. It is free, leave a comment, I do read every single one. But, just before I go, Caribbean joke for you. <coughs> My girlfriend's just been on holiday to the Caribbean. Jamaica? No. She went on her own accord. <laughs>